it's Saturday, this is way too early. save you guys a heap load of time and snap my fingers and have my hot girl disguise on. Much better. It's currently Saturday. It's October 12th. It's Thanksgiving weekend. I'm going to be heading to Kingston in a few hours. I woke up super early this morning because I knew I still wanted to do a little bit of my morning routine. I wanted to like read, journal, just do all that stuff before I had to get some work done, before packing my bag and driving to Kingston. So it's about a two and a half hour drive normally, but not gonna lie this year I don't know if it's just been construction or what it is but every time I go to drive to my hometown it's taken me like upwards of four hours so knowing that I'm gonna try and head out of here around noon I'm gonna bring my my laptop and stuff with me and try and get some work done in Kingston but Either way, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me today. I'm excited. First things first, normally on Saturdays or Sundays, I feel like you guys probably already know this, but I like to gist. And by gist, I mean I like to clean. Now, I did do a big deep clean last night, and I vlogged it. It was the witchy vlog, but the one thing I didn't get to and one thing that I tend to do is normally water my plants as well as do things like a few laundry and like blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I did my laundry last night, and I did all my dishes last night, but I didn't get to water my plants. So I'm going to water my plants now before I forget. Especially considering I'm leaving my plant family alone on Thanksgiving. It's a little, it's touching. But I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and then let's, let's get some work done. I don't really care where to, just wanna be alone with So it's actually noon now. I pretty much need to leave right now. But I figured I'd have one more snack so that I'm kind of trying to do this thing where one, I don't show up to Thanksgiving dinner absolutely starving because then I'll end up having way too much food. And two, I'm not a cranky biatch the whole drive there. So all my work stuff is done. Now I basically just need to pack up my bag and then we need to hit the road. So I'm gonna do like the big comfy couch 10 second tidy. Pack my bag in 10 seconds or less, at least in the edited version, and then let's hit the road. This is me refusing to make more than one trip to the car. All these bags. Made it into the car. Unfortunately, I packed up all of my SD cards and this one only has like a minute left of recording I'm only gonna be able to record about a minute of the next four hours of driving. Let's see what I can do with that minute First things first we need out of this parking garage Oh my child, I know You hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve that all successful people share. He found it wasn't hard work, good luck, or astute human relations, though both were important. The one factor that seemed to transcend all of the rest embodies the essence of habit three, putting first things first. And we made it. It's not fair. You did your time. How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright Good morning! Oh my god, I'm so tired. Do you guys like my sweatpants? Also, do you guys like my shirt? Oh, 
Oh boy, I look like a hot mess. I didn't take my makeup off last night. I slept on this couch. My siblings and I stayed up pretty late last night to like three, so my sister's asking if we're still going for breakfast. Anyways, it's nine o'clock in the morning and it's Sunday now. I wake up my brother. I think we're either gonna grab breakfast or some lunch and then we're doing another dinner today on my dad's side now. I'm really tired. I need water, coffee, I need to wash my face. And I need to give you a big hug. Good morning. Come on. Good morning. Oh. Much better. Much, much, much better. You guys saw this in the 30 fall outfits video. I'm wearing the turtleneck. Why is my voice going away? And my filtered skirt. I'm now gonna go pick up my sister. She's staying at her, technically her fiance's family's house. And we're gonna grab some coffee and go for a quick walk. My brother is still passed out. He, I don't think, is planning on getting up anytime soon. Um, but I'll vlog with you guys and show you what we get up to. Did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up. Let's play a game while we wait for Casey. Jake, what's your favorite holiday? Christmas. <laughs> like I, need to, I need to be a better interviewer. Life or death situation. House is on fire. Who do you save? Pablo. <laughs> what was the worst thing about living with me? There was a phase at one point where we just didn't get along. And I, <laughs> Up was, until 2012? <laughs> it was just a phase where we just did not get along. And every time we got in an argument, you would lie, and I'm getting shit, and that is fucking true. I would lie. I would lie. This isn't even 50-50, but it was bad. Or, even 50-50. I would exaggerate it? after you lie. What about Why don't we play the game? What was the worst thing about growing up with Jake? <laughs> he stinks. <laughs> What? Like, you always asked me to do things for you. <laughs> no, I did not! Can you remember when you used to be like, Kale, are you upstairs? Yeah. Can you make me toast? Well, you made really good toast. I did make bomb ass toast. Jake, you've also Sorry. always made bomb ass breakfasts. Yeah. No, you Chili did. powder on it. And I always asked you to make me some, and you never would. But Once in a blue moon. Monique would come down and she'd get the nines, I guess. Who's this? Not Casey. How did you hear about the position? To be honest, I saw it in the Karma Sutra. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Ready? If you had the world's attention for 30 seconds, what would you say? Please vote green. <laughs> what would you say? Do we have to be political? No. no. Um. Your 30 seconds oh, are fucking up. <laughs> if you had to work but didn't need the money, what would you choose to do? Right. What would you choose to do? Uh, Anything in the world if you didn't need the money. Photography. Love Aww. that. We are so Guys, creative. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought that this said, what's your favorite fridge right now? Um, Hallmark. <laughs> Hallmark? That's, that's a card! No, don't they make fridges? No! Maxwell. No! That's coffee! <laughs> oh, guys, okay, last question, because I just saw Casey pull up. Would you leave your hometown forever, or stay in your hometown forever? Leave. Leave. Anyways, let's get some sushi. Some terrible interview. I'm sorry, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, I really need to find like three nights to just hit pause and catch up on some sleep. So I didn't end up filming an outro on the way out of Kingston. I really wanted to film on my way back, but my camera had died, my laptop had died. I, for whatever reason, did not bring my laptop charger. And yeah, that was the first time I've vlogged going home in a really long time. And I don't know why I ever kind of thought not to. The more and more that I've been picking up my camera and vlogging, the more that I've wanted to just kind of share. I think that there's this weird misconception, at least in my own self, that to vlog you have to be doing something wildly crazy. I get questions from you guys all the time about how to start up a channel or like what to film and all of that. And I feel like even for myself, something that I'm learning, obviously when I 
vlog, I want there to be like a takeaway in my videos and I, I like to entertain you guys. Basically, when anyone comes to watch my channel, I want to respect their time and their support by giving them something that I've spent time on that I've put my like, like I put effort into. But I think that sometimes, <laughs> unknowingly, I can be a little hard on myself in the sense of thinking that what I have on the day to day isn't interesting. Cause like to me, I'm like, I'm just chilling. But 99% of us are just chilling. And I think that when we only choose to vlog or to capture the highlight reel, which there's nothing wrong with, I just think that when we only capture that, then we kind of, it's almost like we take value out of not necessarily the mundane, but just the simple things in life. I guess too, even when I go to edit these vlogs, I always think like, oh, imagine I chose not to vlog. I wouldn't have this documentation of that weekend. And it makes me think of all the weekends that I thought about vlogging and then just like didn't pick up my camera. And now I'm like, I feel like I just wanna pick it up every day. And there's something nice about coming home to the simple things in your life and realizing that when you have those simple things, there's not much else that you really truly need. And I feel like that might be why Thanksgiving has been my favorite holiday because Thanksgiving always kind of brings you back to the things you're thankful for. There's never really any gifts involved. It's normally just about your family getting together. In my humble opinion, the best time of the year, the most golden, buttery time of the year and enjoying each other's company. And so I'm glad that I vlogged this weekend. I'm glad that I got to enjoy your company and vice versa this weekend. And now that we've, you know, creamed the corn, that actually sounded wrong. Now that we've gotten all sappy, I'm gonna leave you guys here. I've got more to vlog today, more to vlog tomorrow, and more vlogs coming in general, amongst a few other fun little YouTuber surprises. So aside from that, I'll see you guys all in the next YouTuber video. Cut to my brother, he did my outro for me.